All right, check this out. We're going to figure out how to create a pipe network. And uh, to start out, I'm going to need to show you how to uh, create a pipe network uh, cat parts catalog. And uh, that has to do with pipes and structures. So to do that, up in the ribbons uh, area, we're going to go to the modify ribbon, and then we're going to go under design to the pipe network and your contextual ribbon will change to this pipe networks and you'll see over here under network tools we have parts list you need a good parts list for any type of um, pipe network that you're going to build be it a uh, uh, storm sewer or sanitary sewer um, and so what we need to do is is uh, understand what these uh, what these buttons do so to start out, we could create a, a parts list from scratch. We could also create a, a full parts list, which basically just takes everything that comes boilerplate out of Autodesk and generates a, a parts list for that. Or we could also edit a, uh, an existing parts list. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do an edit parts list, and you'll notice that I get this dialog, and I can pick from uh, parts list that I have already created. I created one for sanitary sewer and I created one for storm sewer and I also started to create one for water but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the storm sewer. So if we take a look at storm sewer and come over here and do an edit on that you'll see that there's an information and this is basically um, where you give the name for your um, your parts list um, and that will be helpful you'll find out um, later. And then you also have these other two tabs. One is parts for pipes, and one is parts for um, structures. So let's take a look at pipes first. If you go to pipes and you want to add a pipe type and size and uh, all the information for that different part, you simply go to your storm sewer here, and it's taking the name from the uh, um, the information tab. You right click and you say add part family and it gives you some boilerplate AutoCAD information. So if you didn't have any information uh, parts in there and you wanted to build an HDPE or a PVC or um, whatnot uh, and the different shapes, um, you could do that through here. Um, I have already done that, but I'll go through and uh, generate uh, an HDPE and say, okay, so what that does is it generates a category if you will for those that type of pipe so now we have to build the actual pipes themselves so if we right click on the HDPE we say add part sizes so then there's all kinds of part sizes and information that you can change here or you could simply go here and say add all part sizes so basically all of these part sizes that are standard within this part are going to uh, be created. Now in some cases you'll see multiple uh, part sizes and what they'll do is it'll go through and give you all the different iterations that could happen uh, based on um, adding all pipe sizes, all you know, all the different information. Um, so I'm just going to say add all pipe sizes and say OK. And what that does is it gives me a, a plus sign here to expand this and all the pipe sizes have been built. Now things to consider, and I'm not going to go into them in depth, is that you can change the style for each one of these pipes and they have rules, um, some render materials, and then if you get into QTO, um, quantity takeoff, um, you can add pay items uh, to that as well. So um, that's for a, a later date. Now the other thing um, to consider is we've just generated pipes, now we need to p generate some structures. Um, what we have here is I have some that are already set up, I have some rectangular head walls and different things like that. Now um, courtesy of my, my friend uh, Ken Martinez at uh, CAD1 uh, in Denver, um, he's provided me some parts built for uh, CDOT, uh, Colorado Department of Transportation. And uh, so what I need to do is I need to um, build those. So I'm going to add a part family, and you'll see that I have those parts now um, in my, my library here. And I'm going to simply just do like a C box and say, okay, so remember, I need to add the parts now. So I go to add, I right click, 
do add part sizes and uh, in this case there's only one because it's it's standard all the way around that uh, those are the dimensions for that so I just say okay and now I get a plus sign and there is my C dot structure I have styles and, and uh, rules that I can apply to that um, so this is the the backbone to um, generating a pipe network. You're going to have to create this library so that you have parts to draw from or grab from to place in your drawing when you're generating a pipe network. Say OK. OK. And now we are ready to generate a pipe network. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.